Come on, what are we doing? I just listened to this interview on News Talk ZB with Heather Duplessy Allen and the president of the Auckland University Student Association mm -hmm, mm -hmm. talking about this whole segregated spaces mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. Māori and Pacifica. Yeah, ridiculous kaupapa. Yes. Uh, like, why are they even talking about it? Like, these are not exclusive spaces and they've no. been, been around for ages. 30 years. And now some group has just randomly started picking at the fact that there's a Māori and Pacifica group. Yeah. And they've decided to hone in specifically on that group. Mm -hmm. Despite the fact that there are tons of groups for all sorts of demographics. Chinese Association, um, other different European groups even. So, yeah, randomly picking... Racist. Yeah, racism. you know, oh, so racist. But, yeah, definitely gives it's off racism. racist vibes. Couple. Yeah. But, yeah, this interview is particularly horrible. Um, I just want to get your reaction come to on, it. Come on. The Duplessy Allen. It appears all media are still waiting for the University of Auckland to issue that statement that we're, we've been promised about the designated spaces for Māori and Pacifica students. They don't want to talk about it today, but we have the... Whoa, so that was like a pretty like dramatic intro. All media uh, are waiting for this and, oh, these guys don't want to talk about it. Like, whoa, like, I'm pretty sure they just like didn't think it was a kaupapa that they would give energy to. When you're trying to make a story out of nothing. And I've seen heaps of people give comment on this. Other students, they've got now this guy who's come in. Hopefully they set the record straight. But I mean, yeah, like just trying to make a drama out of nothing. Yeah, how's it going? Yeah, very good. Thank you. Do you think that these rooms are appropriate, Alan? Absolutely. I think we've got a number of spaces at the university. Um, you know, we've got women's space, queer space. We've got a lot of tour kind of spaces. We've got Muslim prayer spaces. And this is no different from that. I think I'm just imagining the news talks, there'd be listeners hearing that list, they'll probably like, oh, 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 <laughs> that list, oh man. He's listing it like it's reasonable, we have these safe spaces, but you know, she's probably listening to it being like, wipe them all out. Mm. Um, and it's about giving these students a, uh, a hand up. What are the women's spaces for? She's a woman, right? Asking that question, like. She probably knows why we need spaces for women. I don't know why she thought this was a gotcha moment. They're just like obsessed with that whole narrative around women and what like, is a woman. Is it? Yeah, it's on that vibe. Yeah, it's on that yeah. vibe. Spaces are safe spaces um, where students who don't necessarily feel like they belong in, in um, you know, mainstream spaces, they, they, they can go there to connect, hang out, have a quiet space, study. Um, it's really the spaces for these communities. Okay, do you see the prime? And I'll just say for me, being Māori, I would imagine a space like that for Māori and Pacifica, that there would be a higher baseline in terms of general understanding around te ao Māori. Like if someone wanted to do a karakia, if someone wanted to talk about how something applies to tinoranga, tiratanga, or anything like that, would be able to shave off all of that wasted time around explaining those mm -hmm. sorts of things. Like spaces like that, for me, make a lot of sense. Yeah, it's um, a space where you can build deeper connections with people as well, because they understand that experience. Minister has said um, today that it's inappropriate. He said he doesn't think it's appropriate in New Zealand to have spaces like this because university is supposed to be inclusive, not don't exclusive. Care. Oh. What do you the Prime Minister, yeah, I mean, I don't think he knows anything about this kaupapa, this topic. I don't, he probably doesn't realise that there's all of these other groups that have been there. And he's just picked up on the fact that some demographic that probably supports him is using this as a talking point. And I'm sure he's, he's coming across as very shallow, oblivious. Maybe, or do they want you? to think that. Oh. I'm just a fumbling racist. Are we ready to go there? I don't think we're ready to give that critique on Christopher Luxon just yet, but yeah, the bumbling idiot. He's the bumbling idiot kind of useful character. idiot character. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, when, when you, look, I've spoken to students personally who have told me that, you know, they walk into a mainstream room and they feel judged simply because of the color of their skin and, um, you know, because they're wearing a hoodie. And that for me is unacceptable. Like university should be a space for everyone. And if, if one space like this is, you know, causing so much outrage in the community, then I think we've got bigger problems. Alan, do you, do you, do, are there also spaces for, I don't know, let's just say Asian students? Uh, so the, the university has an international student space, so international students, um, because of all the redevelopment that was happening. At not, not really what I'm meaning. Do we have a space for students who are Asian? No, no, not, not as far as I'm Do you think that that... And actually, Auckland University does have associations for specific cultures. Like, they do have a Chinese society, and mm -hmm. they do have um, European societies, you know, various... 
They had those when you were there. They have them now. Oh. Yeah. So. And they don't have them at this guy's uni. No, they do, but they just don't have an Asian one. Oh. You know, it's just like asking, do you have an Asian one? And Can't he's, but well, you know, maybe it's also like a semantics link because she's saying, do you have a specific space like this space where it's a room that has a sign outside it? And like maybe not necessarily, I've seen this argument online, but these spaces do have spaces in terms of they have regular meetings, they have regular festivals, they have regular events where they do use university spaces and university money. So it is comparable, but yeah, she's, I don't know, in terms of that particular question, she's just like, do you have an Asian mm, it's, room? It's very yes. semantical, as you said. It's like, where does it say in Te Tiriti that Māori are a partner? <laughs> yeah, it's on that vibe. Do you think we should? Uh, no, not necessarily. I think, again, if, if students from that community come through to... Racist. Yeah, she's going to go there. You reckon? Yeah. The university and, and, you know, request a space like that or yeah. come with serious concerns about their safety, then I think absolutely... Can the I university ask you something, Alan? Have, have there been... I mean, have we actually had attacks on Māori and Pacifica students? Absolutely, I've spoken to students firsthand. Okay, um, and have these and attacks been prosecuted? Have they been in the media that we can actually point to them and say, "Yep, we have we have documented evidence of attacks on Māori and Pacifica students"? Uh, I don't know the answer to that. I don't know so, whether it's so been let's, prosecuted okay. or, or there are documented attacks on Asian students. That it like the mainstream media covered it. It was wild, and you're telling me that Asian students who have been bashed do not deserve safe spaces, but my not what he said. Yeah, I just think it's ridiculous that she would take it there. Of course, Māori and Pacifica have been attacked. I can't believe that she's doubting that that happened and she's basing it on how much media coverage it got of whether it happened or not. Uh, yeah, I mean, and just the fact that she's now, what, she's now arguing for specifically designated spaces? I thought she was anti. I thought she was <laughs> taking the... So She's trying to, like, catch him out as being a hypocrite. Yeah, like, but this, you know, and that's the problem with a lot of these journalists that they're looking for like a gotcha kind of moment rather than having any kind of consistency in their actual philosophy. Mm -hmm. And so we're just getting like the shallow, shallow, mm. very, very, very poor journalistic flavor mm. every time we listen to these guys. The students from that community, um, you know, come to us and, and... No, I asked you if they should and you said no. Well, that's, that's not what I meant. Oh, is it not what you mean? Okay. No. Alan, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. That's Alan uh, Shaker of the Auckland University Students Associate. I mean, I don't, what, what do you expect from New Songs ZB? So, like, you know, my genuine reaction is, like, just, blah, that's what you that's what you get. Um, don't ever expect anything different from New Songs ZB. I just think it's so rude. He didn't say that. Mm -hmm. And she was like, that's what you said. You said they don't deserve a space. But... He clearly said they can come and ask for a specific space. If Asian is a demographic and enough people come and are like, hey, we need an Asian space, which is so unrealistic, right? We're mm. more likely to, like, I, I might form a Middle Eastern space. That might be closer, still wide, but, yeah, you know, yeah. or an Iraqi space or something. But, okay, he's saying if that demographic exists and they come and they ask for a safe space, we'll create that safe space for them. And she's like, no, I asked you if people who've been bashed <laughs> deserve a space. And you said no. And he's like, that's definitely not what I meant. And she's like, well, mm. it's not what you meant. Goodbye. Mm. <laughs> it's just. It's like, I just, it's funny how they seem to talk on behalf of other communities mm -hmm. and try to create these gotcha moments mm -hmm. from other community. You know, I just see it's, I don't know what the word is, but is disingenuous. It appropriation? Some like, kind of appropriation. I don't know, but it is like, as an Asian, I think it's disgusting that she's using my continent mm. to try and make a racist point against Māori and Pacifica, mm. okay? If we want to advocate for an Asian space, we will advocate for an Asian space. We don't need her to advocate it for us. Sweet. You need to do that. Yeah. I'm, I don't know if that good. <laughs>